in the wreath from yesterday, so we're going to change that out a little. Hey, Susan. Thank you, Levon, or thank you. Thank you, Levon. Um, I also want to show you some new ribbon I just got in. So, um, hopefully, we'll get that listed real soon. Um, Y'all saw my ribbon from the other day that we now have in the store. So, check this out. It's kind of like, um, let's open it. It's kind of like a navy. And then it has a canvas. Isn't that sharp? Um, Willie picked that up for me the other day. But this one is the one I've been trying to find. And she found it for me. So we have, I think, one or two signs that this is going to match perfectly. So I'm loving it. Hey, Bobby. Hey, Esther. Welcome. Long time no see. So we have that. Then I, Levon and I both love ticking fabric. And this just reminds me of ticking fabric. Can you see that? Am I too close? I'm trying to get it so it's not, it's like a red and green with a little bit of white running through it. So we've got that. That's going to be going on the website soon. Um, this I'm ordering in because my one farmhouse sign for the, um, apples with the green apples, this goes perfect. So I've got one roll left and the next order coming in, I'll have more. Um, I even found green apples that I'm going to post. So that is going to be cool. Oh no. I'm sorry to hear that, Esther. I hope you feel better. And then um, Willie picked this up for me, this gray check. So with these bigger rolls, I'm going to be able to, to cut 10 yards at a time and sell it that way. And I thought this was nice for Halloween. And I actually got this from the Bam Wreaths. I love that check. I know, right? So I've, I've got a whole order set up. So um, they're just waiting for me to say I'm finished. <laughs> Every day I find more. So, hey Fran, welcome. So yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna get moving on that soon. And then you all saw my leukemia sign from yesterday. I have not get that gotten that listed yet. I'm kind of hoping possibly um, next week to do a wreath with that um, leukemia sign. And I'm going to auction off the wreath. And like I said yesterday, everybody that buys one of those signs that Connie wanted that I designed for her, we're going to, for every one I sell, we're going to take a dollar from the sale and donate that to the Leukemia Society in her name. We know that's not why she passed away, but the sign was really important to her. So I, I really want to, I really want to do that. Um, so I'm going to, once I have it listed, I will put it on my Facebook page that it's listed. And if you guys would go in and, and purchase one, if you don't want to purchase one and you just want to donate to her, you know, in her name, I will try and figure out um, how to set that up and we'll do that. Um, I, I, I miss her. I miss her on here. I miss her positive comments. I miss her little comments that she would send me throughout the day. Um, so I think it's only fitting that her name live on somehow. Um, so that is really important to me. I know, don't you? I just oh, check and gingham and stripes and, and um, what we call ticking. Because I even have this in a red and white too. 
I got a couple rolls of that back here. I love ticking. Hello, Damon. Thank you. I I really feel strongly about um, about Connie and her passing. I know she was taking care of her granddaughter, and so um, to get the news from her granddaughter telling me she wouldn't be answering me back that she was now gone. Um, in fact, I'll tell you what, if you guys just hold on, I'll run up and get the sign again. This is what she wanted. She wanted the leukemia awareness ribbon. She said when she had leukemia, it is what it is, was the phrase that helped her get through. So this will be the sign that I'm sending to her granddaughter. Um, she specifically wanted dark green border. She wanted the words in black. So, and I found this and I really love it because see how it has like the succulents in the sign under the word strong. Hi, Judy. So I, I kind of feel like she left her mark and it was so weird. She, she wanted this to be in my sign contest and there were so many great ideas and afterwards hers didn't come about and I decided I'm going to make it and send it to her anyhow because she was so brave through it all and when, when I, I contacted her and I said what do you think and I didn't hear back from her for two weeks I thought I hope they just went on vacation and nothing's wrong and then got the uh, message from her granddaughter saying she had passed unexpectedly on I think it was June 11th so I thought, okay, she wanted this sign done up because she wanted everybody to remember her and it was important to her. So the sign I'll have on my, um, in my Etsy store will not have this phrase on here. Unless you request you want that phrase on there, I will put it on there for you, but it will not be on there unless you request it. And then I thought for every sign that I sell, I'm going to take a dollar from the proceeds and donate it to the Leukemia Foundation in her name. And uh, I think I think it's important. Um, she fought it. She fought hard. She made fun of us because we were all complaining we couldn't get to the hairdressers during this pandemic because she didn't have any hair. And uh, she's a sweet lady, very supportive, always there with a smile, always there with a nice little comment. And, and even if I wasn't on my live, she'd always send me a comment. Like if I posted something, you know, she'd always have to comment on it. So this is important. Um, and I, I want to do the wreath with all the succulents. I'm waiting for a couple more to come in and then I'm ready to go. So if you guys can help me, um, you know, it, it's not, it's not about selling the sign. It's about selling what she wanted. It's about selling exactly what she requested in the sign because there aren't any real nice leukemia signs out there. I mean, there, there just isn't. And she was very specific about the dark green border. So, um, we'll do that then. Okay. So hopefully I'll try and get that listed tomorrow. It's really hard when you're watching a grandchild and trying to run three businesses at once and and I think it'll be an awesome um, thing that we can do to support anybody that's going through it right now like I said they didn't say what caused her passing they just said that it was um, unexpected so it's important and there's a reason why she touched my life. And there's a reason why she asked for that sign. And I have to go with it. So I'm sorry to keep going over it. But sometimes I find the easiest way to get through things is to talk about it. And sometimes I don't know enough to shut up. <laughs> so if I keep carrying on, I'm sorry. But um, 
It's important. All right. So we made this on a live last night and I'm just not feeling it. So I decided I'm going to take it apart. I'm, I'm not liking this just up here by itself. I think it needs to come down more and I think I need another bow up here and the fern isn't doing it for me either. So I'm going to take the fern out. I have some other, I think this is asparagus fern and then I have some boxwood because I want to keep things low to the ground. Mostly strawberries grow low to the ground. So that's what I'm going to do. So I thought we could chat. He does, Susan, and, and I'm, I'm really positive that that's why I decided to, to do that sign and send it to her, um, and then to find out she wasn't around was like, there's a reason. She wanted everybody to know what she, uh, what she loved. I think most in this world were her grandkids, but I know her granddaughter lived with her. So, so sometimes I'll do something on a live and I will just look at it and look at it for a couple days and I will just hate it. And I hated this. It's pretty. I love the bow. I love the colors, but I'm not feeling some of the some of the stuff that I added to it. So we're going to redo it. We all um, can change our mind now and then, right? So I'm going to. So yeah. And a lot of times I'll change it off my live and you won't see. And I thought, well, that's dumb. You showed them how to do it, so let's show them how to undo it and redo it. So that's what we're doing today. And we may throw a bow in there. Who knows? We'll just go with the flow. And see, now you can see it really good. I use these Dollar Tree balls a lot. I attach them to the wreath. If you ever have a sign on a grapevine wreath that kind of like goes in like that, all you need to do is adhere one of those balls to your wreath. It kind of blends in because it's made a grapevine similar to what you, your grapevine wreath is. And it just helps hold it steady and up and you can disguise it. So there's a little trick for you. I know, I love the colors. I just wasn't liking how it turned out. I, 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 in the beginning, I thought that's where I wanted the sign, but nah, I just changed it. So I think I want the sign to go down in further. Like I'm going to put one corner up here, one corner here, one corner here, and then I'm going to have another bow up here. And... Don't tell me I lost my ribbon already. I just had it. I know it's here somewhere. Well, we will find it. I'll tell you, I'd lose my head if it wasn't attached. It's so challenging watching a baby all over again it just zaps everything out of your head so so yeah when i post that i've listed that leukemia sign if you could post or share it or whatever it'd be appreciated i just had the strawberry bow down here. This is be entertained by dumbbell here. Here it is. <laughs> ah, I'm trying to keep everything organized and clean down here. And sometimes 
It just doesn't go the way you want it. I know I have the other one. Sometimes you have just too much ribbon. <laughs> That's part of the problem. All right, let's move some of this ribbon out of the way. Did you ever do that? Did you ever start a project and then you're just not happy with it? And when it's all done, you're like, why did I do that? Well, that's what I was feeling last night. When I do a design, it kind of has to speak to me. And it wasn't speaking to me. It was hollering at me. <laughs> so how's everybody in their area? Is everybody open? Is everybody staying healthy? going to redo this sign we're going to lower it some and I think when I'm done I think I'm going to be real happy with it you know what you know how I dislike this wire so Oh no, you can always check out the replay, Susan. And I'll get back to you on your coffee sign. I'm still working on it. My grandson's due back tomorrow, but tomorrow should be an easier day. So I'm hoping to tie up a lot of loose ends tomorrow. Right? Sometimes you just have to look at it from a different perspective. I'm going with some brown pipe cleaners because I thought they would kind of be disguised in the grapevine a little bit better. So. Well, hey, Joanne, welcome. I can see when you join. How's the puppies? How's North Carolina? We just chit chat and share on here. Yeah. I'm hoping with the one side that I can kind of pull it over to kind of secure it in place over there but that side I'm definitely going to have to use the wire with so oh, it's just my husband walking around upstairs if you hear the squeaking of the floor that's what old houses do now if it's up like that this is still not down low enough. So we're going to take it down a notch. And see, because I didn't bring my needle, it's easier for me to thread the pipe cleaners through there. So. Where's Levon? I want to know if her dad miss, noticed his cookies were missing yesterday when she delivered them. <laughs> Levon had to do grocery shopping for her parents. And uh, the other day was a day, you know how when you have a really, really, really bad day, Sometimes chocolate just helps. Well, I found cookies. And then LaVon went looking for cookies and she found cookies. And they were out of the groceries that she was taking to her dad. Z 
See? I knew he would miss them. That's too funny. That man is smart, let me tell you. He doesn't miss any sugar. <laughs> well, I've got no cookies in the house, so I drank a soda today. So now I'm kind of wired. I haven't had a soda in over six months, so. All right, then we're gonna put this up here. Now we're gonna disguise this with some florals and greenery. So you're not even gonna see where I'm putting this. It's just awkward. I'm trying to get it in there. I didn't have so many twigs to go through. But I think I'm gonna like this better. It just needed a change. And we're doing it. I'm not afraid to admit I made a, a boo-boo. I didn't do it intentionally, but it just didn't work. All right, now we're going to take the wire through this one because this is going to be a little harder to disguise. So with it being silver, I think it'll go the way I want it. And if you haven't done so, if you need, if you wouldn't mind, I'm trying to build my YouTube channel. I'm asking everyone to go in and like my YouTube channel. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Levon ate all the White Castle. <laughs> um, what I'm doing is, if you are on my YouTube channel now, that's fine. Email me your, your uh, email address. Well, message me your email address. Because even if you're already on my YouTube channel, you can still participate in the contest. When I hit a thousand, I will be giving away five signs from my Etsy shop. There. Now see, I kind of like that a little bit better. I like the angle of that now better. So. What we're going to do next, we're going to put a smaller bow up here, and then we're going to fill in the spots where I remove some of the uh, fern. That's the plan. All right, so first we're going to start with this. And I don't know if you weren't on last night. Willie and Steve bought me a new bow dabra. I have been wanting to take a hammer to my old one now for eight years. It was taped. The glitter kept sticking to the tape and the tape wouldn't stick and the thing was just falling apart. So, we're going to do about, let's see, we're going to do about an eight inch tail on these. And I'm going to go a little bit smaller. Let's do, let's do a 10 inch loop. Okay. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to twist and then I'm going to put another, nope, that won't fit on there. This one I'm going to measure with this one. And I'm going to do three loops and two tails. Now, I'm trying to 
think. Is that the Lisa bow? Get out my giant scissors. And then I'm just going to put that in here. I never even had a stick before. Whoop, whoop. All right, so what happens is you have one loop on one side with two tails and then the two loops on the other side. So now the next one is going to be this one. And I'm going to do about an eight inch tail again. And then I'm going to do, let's see, I did 10 inch before, so I'm going to drop it down to 9 inch, which ends up to be like a 4.5 inch loop here. Bring this down a little bit. And then, when I put this in my Bodabra, I'm going to have my tails on the opposite side. So we'll have two loops over here, but we'll have one loop over here with two tails. Are you getting it? Are you seeing it? Yeah, it looks like you can see it, okay? All right. I'm going to do about an eight inch tail again. But this time, we did we're gonna do like a four inch loop. So each time I just downsize it by an inch. And see if you spread it out, go eight inches, then you know your loop's gonna be four inches. Right? And then you have your two tails. So, our two tails are over here on this side. So now we're going to put our tails over here on this side. Okay? Now, this is another thing I got taught. Now, I'm going to take a piece of this. All right? Let me see. I'm going to do about a 12 inch piece of this, all right? And I'm going to take out, where's my pliers? Because I'm going to need them. I'm going to pull out the wire. Now this is the two and a half inch that we started with in our bow. I'm pulling out the wire. You can save it and use it if you want. Da -da. Then we're going to take this piece and we're going to fold it in three. So we're folding one third over, bringing the other third back. Okay. Now I'm going to lay this on top of my scissors right now because I'm going to take my brown pipe cleaner. Hey Z, welcome. There's my girl. And now we're going to tie this as tight as we possibly can. Well, let's just, no, let's just loop it. Let's twist it once. All right, now let's twist it twice. Twice really good. One, and then two. Now, this piece here that I folded in thirds, I'm going to take and I'm going to tie it really, really tight. I'm using that to disguise my pipe cleaner. Actually, wait a minute. I want the pipe cleaner one side to be on one side and then the other on the other side. I'll show you what I mean. I want the pipe I want the ribbon to straddle the pipe cleaner because I'm going to go ahead and twist it again. Just having trouble pulling that darn pipe cleaner out of there. There we go. Did you all say hi to my girl Z? She's watching from Bulgaria. She's 
back with us. She just moved into a new apartment. And I've been seeing pictures. They're beautiful. Okay, so see what I did? I tied it, but I've got a piece of pipe cleaner on both sides. All right, now I'm going to tie this in a knot. And then I'm going to take the pipe cleaner and I'm going to twist it one more time. I'm not very strong, so I have to use tools. Okay, there we go. Ugh. All right, now I'm going to cut this. Actually, I could put a spot of glue in there too. That would be awesome. Okay, I put a spot of glue in there. Now I'm going to take the pipe cleaner and I'm going to twist the pipe cleaner really tight because it's going to hold that piece in place because I'm going to cut the excess. I just left a lot on there so it'd be easy to tie it. There. Now, look at the middle of the bow. See how we don't see? How many of y'all are you sleeping? Who's watching? Who's sleeping? Who's working? All right, so now we're going to take this, our pipe cleaner, and we're going to work it through our grapevine. Doesn't that look cute? With that in the middle? Now we have to fluff it. It looks pretty bad. So I'm actually going to put it opposite of the big bow. I'm liking this a lot better. So what we'll do when I download or upload this to YouTube, we'll do a, a part two and a part one and a part two that way if anybody wants to go back and refer to it it'll be on there Ow. I gotta find my needle nose pliers and I gotta buy a needle to put down here and keep one upstairs so I can pull it through no problem there we go. Right, now I'm going to twist it. And because I hate pipe cleaners, I'm actually going to put a little dab of glue there and twist it again. And then I'm going to cut off the excess and tuck it back down in so it doesn't scratch the person's door or scratch them. There we go. There. Disguised. All right, now I'm going to get rid of the glue. That feels worse than spider webs sometimes. Ugh. All right, so now we're going to work our bow here. All right, we're going to dovetail. Oh, cool. Can't wait to see it when it's all done. LaVon, say hi to Z. C is watching from Bulgaria. She's my girl in Bulgaria. It's Miss C. Okay, so we've got that there. So if we've got two loops up here, let's spread them out some. And boy, is this secure. Between the pipe cleaner, the glue, and that thing in the middle. It is really tight. There we go. Now the next one is the black. So let's dovetail our black. I just love the way that black makes it pop. So this should come down there. There. Because you should have two loops up here, or one loop here. First of all, this is supposed to be like the head. Your two loops are supposed to be like the arms. And then your tails are supposed to be like the eggs, the legs, eggs. All right, so you've got the head 
you've got the arms and you've got the legs. So now when you go to your next level with your black, you're going to do the opposite. All right, you're going to bring the head down. You're going to take the arms and the arms are going to go out. And then your two um, tails are going to be considered the legs. So they're going to go up this way. Then we're going to do it in reverse again. So got one just peeking through there. There we go. Let's do our dovetail again. And I'm going to cut this a little bit shorter. And I think I'm going to cut this just a little bit shorter too. Oh, see that? They know my Z. We've been sharing pictures of each other's countries and it's been fun, 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 fun. And one of these days, Z's gonna come to visit me. And she's gonna stay a while. And I can't wait. <laughs> she's blushing, Levine. You got her blushing. <laughs> but doesn't that look good with the, the little strawberry tie in the middle? Do you love it? I love it. I'm liking it much better now. All right. So now where we took out our fern, we are going to fill in with some asparagus fern and some boxwood. We're going to disguise these pipe cleaners. I have to tie this a little bit tighter. It's drooping. We don't want droop. I talk to Yvonne about you, Levon about you all the time, Z. Never in a bad way. Always a good way. I know. Well, someday that might change, right? Now I'm going to take my pliers because I can get a better grip when I'm twisting with theirs. And those of you that were on my live last night, you're going to tell me if you like this better. I'm happier with it than I was last night. All right, so now we're going to fill in our empty spots. My son was just here a little while ago. He's a new daddy. That child has peed on him, <laughs> pooped on him. <laughs> they are learning the hard way. <laughs> It, you can, I can laugh now because, you know, it all happened to us. So, okay, I'm liking that better. But yeah, the trials of new parenting. They would tell you, Levon would be the first one to tell you if I was talking bad about you, Z. She doesn't she doesn't sugarcoat anything. She is honest, honest, honest. So yes, if I was talking bad about you, she'd tell you. She keeps me grounded a lot. Because there are days I'm not grounded. And there are days I have to call her <laughs> and cry on her shoulder. And I'm there for her too. We're there for, we're all there for each other. That's what I like about our community, the wreathing community. Even though we're all doing the same thing, we're still there supporting each other. So, yes. Okay, I think I need one just up in there. 
I went took this outside last night to take a picture of it and I'm out there trying to yank one of the ferns out of there and it was not coming out and that's when I said that's it redo so yeah and this I'm I definitely am feeling it much better now than I was before so and I think I'm gonna put that strawberry right up there with those I just wish I could have found some strawberries that were already like in a, you know, in a bunch. I had to make my own because I couldn't find any. All right, let's see. I think I'm going to go in there with that. And I think this one, I'm going to go in here with that. Need one of these up there. <laughs> Did you hear her, Levon? Z, she has Harless Levon on there. I was the first person to say, Your name is not Harless. And she said, You're right, that's my dog's name. So. She will email you. She's an awesome lady and awesome friend and she started watching my lives and look at her now. She's doing awesome. We're so proud of all she's accomplished. I think I need one of these possibly here. I'm loving it now. I wasn't loving it before. And these boxwoods have little jagged edges on them, which is nice because it kind of takes it, it when you glue it, it kind of grabs the grapevine. So I'm liking that. That's an empty spot, and that'll look good there. Okay, let's see. I'm liking this. I think I need to put some of this ribbon in the middle of this bow now. But I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do that. Probably going to have to take it, it apart. Because I think that just that helps with the yellow. It just kind of makes it pop. So. Yep. We keep each other grounded. Have to. Some days it could be a challenge <laughs> to be me or <laughs> anybody. It can just, life is a challenge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm just making sure like I have odd numbers on here. That isn't sticking real well. So we need to re glue that one. I like odd numbers on my sides. So, there we go. All right. Get stuck on the grapevine. Ooh, there's another box wood. All right, so we'll do this again. So we'll show you again. We cut about 10 inches of the ribbon. We pull out the wire. 
Right, Rhonda? Yep. <laughs> I'm the oddball. <laughs> no, it just, it, it just, it gives more visual interest when it's odd numbers like that. You don't want each side looking the same as the other side. And sometimes I get in the habit of doing that with my designs. So, okay, so we're folding a third in and then we're bringing the other side to this side. Okay, and then we're going down in the middle of the bow and we're tying it down. Making sure that our pipe cleaner is on both sides so the ribbon goes in the middle. We want it to straddle and see I can't grip so I have to use pliers. Okay. need vice grips. There. Then I'm going to tie it in a knot. First I'm going to put a little dot of glue there in hopes that I don't burn myself. Let's check the front. Front's looking good. It's just to cover up the middle of the bow where you can see the pipe cleaner or the zip tie. Except I'm trying not to burn myself on the glue and I can't get a hold of the ribbon. There we go. Come on. I'm going to use my teeth, but then I'll probably end up breaking my... Alright. So there we go. Now we got a smush bow that we're going to have to fix. But we can fix that. Get my pipe cleaner. Kick it down in again. Thank you. I'm loving the colors. I really am. Now, okay. It's nice for you to see my work for a change. <laughs> you know I love yours, Zay. So it's nice for you to see what I do. And that was a sign that I layered. I love that vintage background. That's that's me. Farmhouse. Like my here's look see. Can you see it? You recognize that. Okay, so now we gotta show our bow some loving. It's looking pretty bad. We need to love on it some. Right? Farmhouse, farmhouse is probably my favorite. And I want to get more into some of the, uh, you know, the floral grapevines. But that just wasn't that wasn't doing it for me. And look at that with that with that ribbon in there. You just have a little bit of red strawberry peeking through. I'll show you in just a minute. And it, it's pulling the yellow out of the ribbon, so it really looks good. And see, on Tag Team Tuesdays, I only have an hour, 
So I was rushing last night to get done so, so um, Willie could do her thing. So I really wasn't thinking the design all the way through. So I needed to redeem myself. And I think, I think I sold out of the strawberry ribbon. There we go. We're all done. I think I like it better than yesterday's. What do you think? Do you like it? Does it need anything anywhere? Do you see any blanks? Any, uh, oh. yes. It needs one of these right there. There we go. Thank you. Oh, did you? <laughs> you saw that one. I just want a little white peeking through. And I may just put one more boxwood there. Isn't it? It's much better than last night's. I don't know what I was thinking. And these are like lower lower bedding in here and I think it looks better oops there now I'm bet now I feel much better with it much much better there we go we is done. I may look for a few more of these white flowers because like I need one more right there. But I don't think I have any more. So I might have to go buy some. I love it much better than yesterday. And sometimes you just have to step back away from a design. I've done that a few times with some of my signs. I've had to step back and rethink it. And oh, there's one that I've been working on now for about two months. And I think I finally get it right. And then I look at it and say, nope, it's not ready. So it's going to happen. One, two. Okay, we got seven in there. I don't know. You may just need to put like a single leaf on that wire just to cover it up. And I just had a single one here. Because I'm seeing that wire and I don't want to see it. Here it is. I'm just going to put that like right there just a little zap of glue no i don't but i do have there just just disguise it with that little little leaf um you're saying pink and red ribbon not pink and red per se i have pink i have red i have strawberry i have 
have this in pink and black and in red and black but none pink and black or pink and red I have No, that's got orange. Not really. No pink and blue, no pink and red. Everything else but. But yeah, I'm loving it now. I was not liking it before. Now I love it. And if I don't love it, it sits until I do figure it out what's wrong with it but doesn't that look good with the little tie in the middle like you don't see that zip tie at all you don't see that pipe cleaner you just see some little red with yellow dots oh red with white dots I have red with white dots small dots big dots little dots <laughs> I got dots <laughs> I've got just about everything it's all here and this would even go with it really nice too I've seen people use this ribbon with the strawberries because the strawberries always have a little white flower with a yellow dot, so I've seen them use this with it, okay? I also could have used this because there's little white flowers on that. So I could have incorporated that in it somehow too. So yeah, that, that would have been doable. And now I got more ribbons. -y. We need this one. I'll show you. Oh yeah. So we need this one. And we're going to need this one too. I thought there was one I opened up. There was. I love those two. And this one has like canvas and then it has like the, bl the blue check in it too. We'll get busy. Oh, looks like my feed is going in and out. Must be getting ready to have a storm. Maybe that's what it is. Crap, I got wash outside hanging out. <laughs> All right, so there we go. We finished this up. I'm loving it now. And uh, I will see you all on Monday, and I will let you know when I post this sign in memory of Connie. And uh, if you can, if you can't purchase the sign, if you could donate like a dollar to the cause of leukemia, that would be awesome. Every little bit helps. All right, guys, I'm going to leave, and I'll see you all soon. Next Tuesday, Tag Team Tuesday, I go on at 7, Willie goes on at 6. All right? All right, have a great day. Bye.